some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Baltimore County, Maryland with the angry vet. And he has an amazing tale to tell us. How much of it is true, I don't know, because his camera was taken in for evidence. But he is upset, and he wants a belt full of badges. So let's sit back, relax, and listen to this lunacy. Okay, uh, DAV family. Um... I'm gonna need your help with this one. <laughs> I I don't even know how to fucking feel right now. I don't know if I should cry, punch a hole in the fucking wall, or um, I don't know. Uh, so I was trespassed from uh, the post office here in Essex. I am at the White Marsh Police Station. Just got let out of jail at eight hours for a trespass. Eight hours. I have to go to the hospital. I still don't have feeling in my left thumb. Um, my shoulder, I, I think there's some fucking ligaments or something like that that are torn because it's, it's on fire. Oh, poor baby. Um, they hotboxed me in the car they didn't put the seatbelt on me right on purpose because because they brake checked me three times um at the, well maybe two times and the second time i was like did did you just fucking do that on purpose now you know now i know why you, you didn't put the seatbelt on me right um holy shit then they tried to steal my phone. They 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 gave me the uh, property paper to sign. Said here, just sign sign right here. This is for all your property. I guess they didn't think that I was gonna fucking read it. And uh, my phone wasn't on the property list. <laughs> How fucking convenient, right? Well, perhaps they took it in as evidence, considering they did have to arrest you. Did you even bother to ask them about it? I mean, I'm sure they would have told you that if you had even bothered to ask them about it. I wonder where that would have gotten off to, disappeared to. So, uh, yeah, crazy, crazy fucking shit. Um, I lost my cool a little bit. You're, 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 you're not even going to believe what, what happened. Like it, totally, they, they, the, they solicited a trespass from the postmaster and then, uh, the fucking post office literally locked me in the post office, like locked me in. I've seen a couple videos where they've actually locked the frauditor in there only because they were trying to close the post office down because they couldn't do business with the frauditor looking over everybody's shoulder. And the frauditor refused to leave post office ground even though they were closing up the business for the day because of his actions. So, makes me wonder if that happened in this case. Did you plant your feet in the ground and refuse to leave like a stubborn little man-child because you weren't getting your way? Well, that is a distinct possibility. And, and they wanted me to leave, but they locked me in. With all the customers. Locked all the customers in, too. Wouldn't help the customers that were there. Um, and, and then, you know, Christ, Baltimore County police off officers showed up in full force. Um, you know, got all the same bullshit, the right here, right there, you know, it's uh, it, names and shit, all the, all the normal stuff. 
And then I don't even think they investigated anything because they immediately went to, you need to leave. And I was like, well, no, I don't. And then one thing led to another and uh, I wanted to supervise. I want to speak to your manager. got the supervisor there and then that motherfucker threatened me to arrest me if I didn't leave. So I, so I walked out. Uh, you know, I didn't want to, but I didn't want to be arrested either. So I walked outside and I was pissed. I was pissed. I started calling people names and uh, I, I lost it a little bit. But then uh, the, the, the police officers go back inside. They get the postmaster, bring her out, and tell her to tell me that I'm no longer welcome there. Your story continues to change, dude. Right now, you're at the point where you said the cops told the postmaster to tell you to leave. But earlier in the story, the postmaster or one of the other workers told you to leave. Long before the cops even showed up. Your story is not quite adding up here. And so she does. And then another supervisor with even more stripes on his arm comes up to me and says, if I don't get off the property now, that I'm going to be locked up for trespassing. Yes, 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 yes. I can't make this shit up. Of course you can't make that stuff up. Because it does happen all the time to imbeciles like you who don't realize that you can be trespassed off any property. So, um, okay. So, I, I again, I'm forced off the property onto the sidewalk. And, uh, while I was there on the sidewalk, I'm still, I'm cussing, I'm calling people names, I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm losing it. I'm, you know, my PTSD, it's hard. On a normal day, it's hard. And, uh, when you're being locked up and arrested for no fucking reason. serious it's even harder so uh so they so uh you know i stepped off the curb a little bit uh, and as soon as i did that they fucking gang banged me and uh yeah the one cop, you know, puts puts me in a chicken wing and nearly breaks my fucking arm. Uh, yeah. I can't I can't talk about this anymore right now. Um, <laughs> I I just I know the and the fucking video is like an hour and a half long. Like, how do I I, I and I don't know how to edit. Well, that is a skill you should acquire, and there's plenty of videos on YouTube that'll help you learn the skill. And especially if you're using a particular software, in my case, I use Caden Live. But I'm going to have to start looking for other programs here soon, because Caden Live is not the greatest in the world, but it's adequate for what you need. But I'm going to need some kind of beeper, a bleeper, or something... Um, or I need to like put it on a thumb drive and and send it to somebody to to do a nice job on it. I don't know. I I just I I think I know what I need to do, but I, I need some advice on um how to do it properly. I don't, I don't want to fuck this up and uh. <sighs> 
commies. Fucking commies. You keep using the whore. I don't think it means what you think it means. I'll tell you what. The, the, the one female police officer in here in the White Marsh, uh, at the White Marsh precinct, Officer Cobalt, she's a sweetheart. Total, total sweetheart. Wanted to help me from, from the minute she came on to shift. That's another fucking thing. Didn't get the paperwork over here uh, until like two hours after fucking shift change. Yeah, like... Like, that wasn't by design, right? Right? Oh, great. Now we have a persecution complex to add into your psychology. Oh, fuck. I just, uh... I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to f figure out how to email uh, some people. I think I think Sean might have have a, a lawyer um, in Maryland. I don't know. I don't I mean, I don't even know if I need a lawyer. Like this this is so and I read the report, holy shit. Like crazy. Oh, and then listen to this. The excuse for for taking so damn long. This is the excuse. I said uh, to Officer Cobalt, and, and don't don't be mad at please people do not be mad at Officer Cobalt. She's awesome. Um, I, I I'm I'm very I was very dehydrated. I needed a lot of water. They only give you these little tiny like four ounce bottles of water, and uh, I, I kept asking for water because the, the damn sink in the bathroom's broken garbage but anyway um she says to me get to get this this i can't make this up she says yeah i'm sorry about that uh the weight and all all these officers are fresh out of the academy like days not like not even day like days I that's what I'm thinking days because she made it she made it sound like they were brand new like like their first couple days or their first day and she's like yeah we just got a bunch of new recruits fresh out of the Academy and they're probably just making sure all the paperwork's right and uh, stuff like that uh, what I I walked into a hornet's nest of fresh recruits that didn't know the First Amendment. Okay, now you just seem to be strawmanning right here. Just because they're fresh out of the academy doesn't mean they don't know the First Amendment. That is quite a leap in logic right there, dude. Like they... Really? And then the commissioner, the commissioner sitting there telling me, yeah, we, would, we want to make sure that, you know, you have your constitutional rights, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I, I mean, if I had constitutional rights, I wouldn't be sitting here, motherfucker. So... I didn't say that. Uh, that's what I wanted to fucking say. Um, oh, God, my fucking shoulder is killing me. Um, I still can't feel... I have no feeling in... Well, it feels like fire when I... Um, when I uh, touch my thumb. Like, it feels like it's burning when I glide my hand across across my thumb. But I can't, like, there. it's numb. Like, there's no feeling in it whatsoever. Like, a little bit in the tip. But, uh, it, just the tip. <laughs> so, look, I, I don't, I don't know what to do. I need your help, family. Um, I just don't want, I, 
I think I know what I'm doing, but uh, I, I, I just want to be sure. You know, I want to make sure this gets done right because I, I want badges. I want a belt full of badges on this one. I. Well, you can wish in one hand and crap in the other, and see which gets filled first. Yeah, well, this I'm not gonna let. I'm 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 not gonna uh, let shit just be brushed under the rug or anything like that. This 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 is this is getting handled, and uh, I want careers. I want careers. I want their badges. <laughs> so uh, and I'm I I have to hold. I have to hold my fucking pants up because they cut my goddamn strings off my off my <laughs> off my sweatpants. I don't have an underwear on. Was... <sighs> yeah, so uh that's that. I'm gonna um see I don't I I, I wanna upload the video but I I don't know what I can and can't do yet. You know what I mean? I don't want to. I don't want to screw myself in any way, shape, or form. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't really see how I could. But I, I just want to be safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So, um, and I don't know how to uh, like get my phone number out to any of you guys without plastering it all over f fucking YouTube. Um, yeah. It's, it's sad. It's, uh, I'm very sad right now. I, I need, I need some medication. I know that. I need, I need, uh, I need my vape pen right now. And I don't have it. <laughs> and get this my truck yeah it's it's still on postal property well I, I think it might be postal property it might not be <sighs> so yeah so I had to get somebody to go over there and get my truck you know and and bring it to me up here and then I gotta take them back down there and uh what a mess. What a fucking cluster fuck. Like, ow. Like, uh, this, this, this may have been worse than, than the last time, than the last time I had my rights violated. This was, uh, this, this hit a little harder. I like, um, I don't know why. Emotionally, I mean, maybe I'm, my, I'm in a different place than I was. Well, I was a lot younger though back then. Speeding. Anyway, um, these cops. Holy shit! Wait till you wait till you see it. I'm thinking maybe I could do like some snippets, like maybe some five minute snippets or something like that. Um. I don't know. I'll talk to somebody tomorrow about it. Maybe tonight. I, I don't know. And, uh, we'll go from there. I, I, I need to figure out how to, um, I guess I could just take a video of the statements that they wrote. Holy shit. Like, holy shit. I, these people cannot be this dumb. I, like, Oh, okay. I'm done. I can't. I can't. I can't talk about this anymore. Um, not without uh, my medication. <laughs> All right. So my pants are falling down. <sighs> All right. So I guess I'm signing off for the for tonight. Um, I'll uh, I'll hit you guys back up in the morning. I'm gonna get some sleep. Well, I mean, I'm gonna go. To the, I don't know how much sleep I'm gonna get because I don't know how long it's gonna take to go to the hospital. But I definitely need 
to go to the hospital. My arm is killing me. I, don't, I can't even take it off of my chest. Like, oh, wait a minute. So this is, this is, I can move like this, but I got to keep my arm pinned to my chest to, to keep my shoulder from moving. <sighs> so that's that. Um, sad, sad day today. Ladies and gentlemen, sad, sad day. I like look. I knew eventually, somewhere down the road, this that this would happen. I didn't expect this to happen so fast. Like you expected it at some point, but not so fast. Really, dude? Come on now. I mean, if you watch some of these other auditing videos, some of them get it on the first go. While others, it'll take a while because they're a bit more careful in how they go about it. Well, I mean, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I thought for sure that I could keep my composure during something like that. But when you're, when those cuffs are going on you and you know, you, you know, you did not do a fucking thing to deserve that? Liar! Oh, come on, dude. You're hesitant to post the video, and your story doesn't make any sense. So, you might have done something wrong that you're not willing to show. It, it, it gets you a little fucking crazy. It, it, it fires you up a little bit. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I said some unsavory shit. Um, but I, I ain't taking it back. I ain't sorry. I am not sorry one bit. Not one bit. Whew. Okay. All right. Baltimore County Police. Essex. Essex Precinct. They were all from Essex. Like, like you couldn't process me down at that precinct that was like two minutes away from the scene. No, they drove my ass all the way up here because they knew, they knew I'd have to go back and get my car and all this. They're making it completely inconvenient. Totally, 100% total dicks. Total dicks. Yeah. Well, it's cold out here, and uh, I don't have a jacket. Like, <laughs> huh. what? I mean, like, what would happen? Like, God, what if I was homeless? Like, <laughs> what the fuck would a homeless person do, like, in this situation? Just take it. Oh, look, here comes my ride. All right. Mark, to the rescue. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm out. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, we'll get through this. We'll get through this. I'm, uh, I'm collecting badges. Adios. Well, maybe we'll see the video, maybe we won't. It's all in his hands right now. But it sounds like he's hesitant to post the video. I wonder why. Could it be that the video may show you in a bad light? I mean, your story alone doesn't make any sense.